Hello everyone. Welcome to Coders Camp. As there are so many testing tools in market nowadays, one of the trending tools for automation is Cypress. So we are going to start a series on automation testing with Cypress today. In this video, we are going to cover what is Cypress, why Cypress, and how Cypress is different from other technologies, features and architecture of Cypress, and limitations of Cypress. As many of you already have an idea, let's take a quick minute to talk what Cypress is. Cypress is a next generation front end testing tool built for modern web. It is used to reliably test anything that runs in a web browser specially designed to work with modern web applications that are developed in React, Woo, AngularJS, and so on. Also, it is an open source tool under a MIT license. So you can fork it, do anything as you want. As there are so many technologies and tools available in market for QA automation, so why Cypress? Cypress states that it addresses the key pain points developer and QA face when testing modern applications and it enables us to write faster, easier, and more reliable tests. Cypress let you test web application using modern JavaScript framework and let us do all type of testing, that is unit testing, integration, end-to-end. -end. Simply, it can test anything that runs in a browser. So how Cypress is different from other testing tools and technologies? So before Cypress, if we want to write an end-to-end -end test, we first need to select the software and then design a framework and have to add all libraries, external jars and drivers for browsers. And then if it is Selenium, we have to select a Selenium wrapper. So mostly it is a web driver and whatever plugins and additional drivers needed has to be set up. But here in Cypress, that is not needed because Cypress is all in one testing framework where it includes all assertion library, mocking and stubbing and everything without Selenium. And the other differences are most testing tools like Selenium operate outside the browser and execute a remote command. But Cypress is exact opposite. Cypress is executed in the same run loop as your application. That is, it runs on the browser where we are testing our application. And Cypress is installed locally on your machine so it can additionally tap into the operating system for automation tasks. That is, this makes performing tasks such as taking screenshots, recording videos, general file system operations and network operations possible. So it is notified that the moment page loads and moment page unloads. So Cypress automatically waits for the elements to become visible and to become enabled to stop covered. That's why Cypress knows and understands everything that happens in our application synchronously. Above all, there are hundreds of custom error messages describing the exact reason Cypress failed your test. Cypress takes snapshot of your application and enables you to time travel back into the state it was in when command ran. That is why the Cypress has built for usability. So what are the features of Cypress? In Cypress official site, they state these things are the features of Cypress. That is the first thing is time travel, which states Cypress can take screenshots as you run your test. Simply hover over your comments in the command log to see exactly what happened at each step by the screenshot. The next is real time reloads, where Cypress automatically reloads whenever you make changes to your tests. And the next one is spikes, stubs and clocks, which verify and control the behavior of function server responses or timers. The next feature of Cypress is consistent results. That is the architecture of Cypress does not use Selenium or WebDriver. So they said it is fast, consistent and reliable tests. And the next feature is debuggability. That is, we don't have to worry about the error messages because they have predefined error messages where it shows why failed our test and it is easy for us to stack trace and makes debugging lightning fast and the next feature is automatic waiting so we don't have to add or sleeps or wait to our tests cypress automatically waits for comments and assertions before move on to the next step 
and the next is network traffic control so it says it easily controls stub and test edge cases without involving the server and the last is screenshot and videos where we can view screenshots taken automatically on failure of our test or even videos of our entire suit when we ran headlessly. So these are the browsers that are supported by Cypress. As per the report of early 2020, the only browser that was supported by Cypress was Chrome, but now they have added Firefox and Edge also to the result that makes cross-browser testing possible. So here is the limitations of Cypress. The first point is they support only limited browsers and Cypress does not do mobile testing. So if we have something that specifies in our project to do mobile testing, then we have to choose for some different software or testing tool. Next is even such as file upload, hover and scroll are not supported yet, but they are said to be in roadmap in future. But as of now, it is not being supported by Cypress. And Cypress supports only JavaScript for writing our tests. Unlike Selenium, we have to know JavaScript and we cannot use any other language to write our test script. And finally, it does not support multiple tabs. So now that we have covered the overview of Cypress, so get excited to get our hands busy in testing with Cypress. In our next video, we are going to cover the installation setup of Cypress in our PC. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.